Good evening, everyone, and welcome to um, the St. George's Church. Um, the, my name is um, the Father Tamin. I am the vicar of this parish, the parish of St. George Enfield in Frizzy Water. Warm welcome to um, our daily um, the live streaming called um, The Thought for the Night. Uh, from um, the, since the day of Ascension, which was um, the last, well, the Thursday week before, and then we have been doing um, you know, kind of, you know, a prayer, um, you know, stuff, <laughs> stuff, did I say stuff? Um, you know, prayer movement, we have been offering some prayers together um, because this special period since the, um, in between the Ascension and then the day of Pentecost, which is today, um, the 11 days, um, it is that thy kingdom come, it's um, the prayer movement. So we have been um, using this, you know, the prayer journal um, for the last 10 days. So, um, oh, by the way, but warm welcome to, um, you know, Kathy, um, the Maureen, Ronnie, Carol, warm welcome to, um, to the church. Well, um, I decided to, um, to use, good evening, Maria. So we'll say, good to see you. Um, I decided to um, come to the church um, to offer some prayers, um, which is at the end of um, our Thy Kingdom Come 11 days of, you know, the prayer. Um, as, a, as a church, as a vicar, the Pentecost um, always, um, you know, brings a kind of, you know, the joy and excitement as well. And, and good evening, Dave. Um, good to see you back again. Um, today, as many of you um, already know, um, after our 10 o'clock, you know, the, you know, the service, we all went to um, my, you know, the garden, back garden, for the tea and coffee. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, we did. The weather was okay-ish. We had a bit of, you know, um, you know, the rain, you know, a couple of showers, but it was okay. Good evening, Charlotte, welcome. It was... Um, I think, um, despite the weather, which wasn't perfect, of course, but we all enjoyed um, our time together. The other people stayed there, and we could go home quite early, but that people stayed there till very, very late. So um, we could hear the Angelus bell, you know, was, um, and the Regina Shelley was you know, ringing at 12 o'clock, and that was a, there was a spirit in there. So I have to say a big thank you to um, our church wardens and, and um, our tea coffee ladies um, and gentlemen who actually helped today. It was lovely to, um, to see um, you know, people back in their position. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? You know? <laughs> so that, that was a brilliant. And, and then I had a bit of you know, a break, but you know, after that it must have been... Um, very strong wind, so one of the gazebos um, was completely broken because of the wind, you know, you can't complain. And, um, but still, despite the damage and despite a bit of you know, wetness, um, you know, but still we kept our spirit, our morale really high. And I think that is what defines the character of um, our parish now. So, well done, people. And especially big thumbs up to um, you know our you know, church wardens, <laughs> especially um, you know the Jenner family, all of you, and then a big thank you to um, to your um, the time and, and and the leadership and even you know I was being pushed you know, but thumbs up, it was great fun. The weather still is not really good, but we know that out there over that cloud there is a sunshine. Let's. Fingers crossed, and let's pray for the better weather. But anyway, the um, you know the Pentecost is a so important day because, um, as we heard from um, this morning from you know Father Vince, you know the preaching, um, the Pentecost, the Holy Spirit changed the nature of of the disciples, and then I sincerely pray that the Holy Spirit may actually change the nature of our. Christian gathering as well. As I said earlier, just a couple of seconds ago, you know, whatever the weather, we made, we made it. We had a great time together. We loved to have a tea and coffee and then the cakes and biscuits, etc., etc. It was great fun. Even children were really brilliant. And then because that happiness is what defines us as a St. Georgians, as a member of St. George's community here. And I also want to encourage you to see in that way, the Holy Spirit 
is what defines us as a Christian community, or at least the members of the Christian community. Holy Spirit is what defines me and you as individuals as well, it defines us as a Christian people. And the Holy Spirit is the one who will bring the much fruit to our life together. Well, I read um, the very interesting things on, um, on Facebook saying, oh, Holy Spirit helps us to speak um, or to pray or for our prayers in tongues. The Holy Spirit helps us to um, prophesy. Holy Spirit and help us to um, you know, do enormously wonderful, you know, the ministry, etc., etc., etc. But it says, Holy Spirit also, I can't really say, remember exactly what it what was written, but if I just made a paraphrase or to remember what's been written, the Holy Spirit is also the one who can actually make us say the sorry prayers. Holy Spirit is also the one who will actually make us be silenced. All these topics we have been talking through these, you know, prayer journals for the last couple of days. So today, um, I'm not going to um, read um, something from here. But instead, I'm going to read you, um, I'm going to share the story, which is from, um, written in the Acts of the, um, the Apostles. Um, that is the story that you heard um, this morning um, at Mass. What is it? Um, no, why uh, I have got, uh, you know, Ascension Day? No, <laughs> I, was, I was using the wrong, um, you know, bookmarks, sorry. Yes, um, it is yep, from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. The disciples were in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like a rush of the violent wind. Well, that is what I could hear now in the church. <laughs> and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues, as of fire, appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now, there were devout Jews from every nation on the heaven, you know, the living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in their native language. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language. Parthians, Medes, Aramites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, and Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and a part of Libya belong to the Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans, and Arabs, in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, Men of Judah and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunkard, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last day, it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and the old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, 
In those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heavens above, the signs on the earth below, blood, the fire, and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood, before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So let us pray, um, dear my brothers and sisters. Overflowing God, breathe the Spirit of Jesus into me and into all those who long for peace especially those who have drifted from your way, got stuck in their faith, or who have not yet found a way to believe. You believe in them. Renew them by your Spirit. And today, may your church be filled with joy. Heavenly Father, we offer our prayers, the prayers of thanksgiving for all the blessings that we have received. First of all, we give you thanks for each and every one of us, the presence of our friends in our church or even in this virtual community. We give you thanks for the challenges that we face because we know that through these challenges, Lord, you make us strong and you teach us the meaning of humility. And we give you thanks for the provisions from you. We're never short of anything. encourage and strengthen each and every one of us so that we may continually gather together, offer our prayers and worship, bear much fruits of the Spirit. May St. George's Church can be the place where people sin be forgiven, where the heart be filled with joy and love. May your gospel be proclaimed. May we be the house of prayer and always filled with your glory. On this day, we say a big thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now, thank you. Um, oops, I just took my bookmarks out. I forgot to, um, where is it? It's at year B. <laughs> I need to actually return that into the right place for the next Sunday. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I got it. Yep, I got it now. That's. Yes, um, thank you um, for um, joining me um, this evening. And then... Um, as you know, um, you know that I love um, to be here and, and um, to 
to be connected with, <laughs> with all of you. And, and um, especially um, a big thank you to um, you know, my colleague father, um, you know, Vince, and uh, you know, our church of Wooden, Dave Jenner, to, um, to share the loads of leading um, to this, you know, thy kingdom come um, to this year. It's been wonderful for me to actually hear you know, um, you know, Dave's reflections and the Father Vincent's reflections, etc. Um, some people may ask us, raise this question. Okay, thy kingdom come, what's next, Father Tamin? Um, the big thing that I can say is we are trying to actually go back to um, our ordinary, normal pattern of life, a pattern of worship in St. George's Church, and that is from the 6th of um, the June, the first Sunday in June. Um, that means um, from um, 8.30, um, you know, there will be a service at 8.30 on Sunday morning and 10 o'clock. And then all from that week, um, the weekday service time will be changed, will be got back to, um, you know, our old, you know, um, the time. So the Wednesday, 10 o'clock, not 12. And the Thursday, 7.30 is the same. The Saturday, 9 o'clock in the morning before um, we do um, the church cleaning. Um, in terms of our live streaming, something like this, something like this, um, one of the books that I received from, um, you know, from Diocese is The Making Disciples. I know this is the other way around. And then um, I know the, um, the discipleship is one of the, um, um, the quite hot potatoes in, in the church, which is the important thing. We receive the Holy Spirit, and uh, what we need to do is just encourage and the people to live the life as Jesus, um, Jesus' disciples. So we probably will use this book or any other books that will link with um, discipleship. So that is going to be a very interesting thing. How are we going to do it? Well, well I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we need to actually explore that. We might need to actually use one of the books that we already have, but still we don't know. But that is something that um, we're trying to um, do in terms of our um, you know, activities, something like this. And then our usual, you know, the live streaming will, will be carry on, but we might need to actually tweak, um, you know, a bit. But anyway, and happy, um, you know, uh, Pentecost, um, you know, the day, you know, whatever the weather, whatever the weather, we know that we can say that nothing can dampen our spirit. And then that is the spirit of Christian people, obviously, especially, you know, um, those who worship in our wonderful church called St. George's. Okay, well, um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. If you're trying to go, um, you know, and then good um, sleep, and then we'll say the good night sleep. God bless you. And then other than that, I will see you um, when I see you, probably um, tomorrow night. God bless you. I initially clear this area and go home. Bye for now. God bless you. Bye. <laughs> Still very windy. Oh, Holy Spirit may come.